Thank you for staying with us. Let's begin from the international scene. After 20 years of intervention by the U.S. and NATO, the Taliban has captured the presidential palace in Kabul and declared the Islamic Emirates of Afghanistan. In the midst of the chaos that has enveloped the country, humanitarian crisis is ensuing following disturbing footage of thousands of people struggling to get on a plane and get out of the capital. Let's share some of the videos with you. This, that's the level of desperation in Af Afghanistan, Kabul, uh, 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 right now. And um, after 9-11, and uh, with the intervention of the United States and the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, this, the Taliban has resurfaced again, and that country is back to square one. Yes, and um, it's shameful that the Americans didn't handle this situation well at all. This is not how to pull out of a country. Um, this pullout is more shameful than what happened in Vietnam. And I think that when the Americans knew that they were going to pull out some of their best weapons, they should have evacuated those weapons from, from Afghanistan. Yeah, I'm telling you, I saw America it. built solid military bases you see for the, rifles? For the uh, Afghan army. And you left everything. Now, the Taliban hmm. has inherited some of the best weapons available. Humvees, hmm. hundreds of Humvees. You know, the, the army truck, the, hmm. U, the hmm. U.S. main army truck. Hundreds of them they left behind. And if, if you build state-of-the-art um, barracks or army bases, so that as your own way of um, building capacity for the Afghan army. And you suddenly left the, 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 the country. Then you've not done well. They should have, before leaving, they should have compelled ta the Taliban come to a round table, agree to a power, um, um, power sharing formula that will ensure that this is not a winner takes all because the way it is now is a winner takes uh, takes all for this for these guys. The of the presidential uh, yes, palace. they went out. They went out the place. You guys are trying to drink uh, a tea with the with the golden. Uh, um, Every, everybody. This. So this the the manner they left. When you look at even Clinton and said, "Look, we made mistakes." The manner America left that place. It's like they've brought everything back to square one. Back. So what is all the... You spent billions and billions of dollars... For 20 years. You know, in that place. Now the Afghan army couldn't stand up to these guys. It's similar to what happened in Iraq. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what do you want the Americans to do? I, I, <coughs> if we have to look at it from this point of view. The outcome of what happened is not in doubt. was never in doubt. What was, what was surprising was the speed that it took. 
Yeah. We have to look at what happened. Yes, America please. has been in their place for 20 years, investing trillions of dollars. They train the Afghan army. Like he said, they equip them properly. The Afghan army have a very good air force. The Taliban don't have air force units. They have equipment. They have more men. But they are so irresponsible, they refuse to defend their country. The, uh, what happened was America realized that we cannot be in this country forever. Mm. And we cannot be popping up these people. Because in Af we have to understand Afghanistan. Afghanistan has these tribes. They were just different tribes. And they've been in civil war for a long time. But out of those tribes, it's the Taliban that is the dominant tribe. Because of their affiliation to Pakistan. And over time, when after 9-11, because when, you know, there was a civil war, the Taliban now took power started this nonsense, Islamic, whatever they call it. And then they allow Al-Qaeda to, to have its, a place in their country, mm, yeah. which made them to attack America. Mm, so America Al came. When America came in, the uh, idea the was to, quest, um, to, to attack um, Al-Qaeda and to punish the Taliban for providing them the opportunity to do that, and which they did. And they've been in this country for 20 years. And they realized that, look, even if we stay for another 20 years, we will still come out to the realization that the present Afghan government cannot rule. They are so corrupt, they call, the money they give them, they, so the people are not ready. The soldiers did not fight for them. This is one of to move America's around. failed projects. Yes. Because when you talk I'm about happy, Libya, yeah. <coughs> when you talk about Iraq, mm -hmm. this is still the same thing now. In the next two years now, Afghanistan is going to be worse off. I, I, got it, I saw it this afternoon, mm -hmm. the number of Af um, Afghans moving towards uh, the border of Pakistan. Yeah, right. Nobody they wants to, to leave that country. They know the, they know the people they are dealing with, so they don't want to stay. Before now, Afghans had been pouring into Turkey, the border with Turkey, and the Turks have been sending them back. Hmm. Men and women, children, trying to get into Turkey. The more the, Af the Taliban claimed communities in the hinterland, the greater the fear of the people that are, are, are we, what's going to happen. Now, the, the, Americans, the Americans came up with a, 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 a faulty intelligence suggesting that even if they are going to take over Kabul, <coughs> that it will still take up to six months. Yes, hmm. between three months and six months. Hmm. Now, yes. Now, Tell this. Your, your intelligence was wrong. What was that intelligence based on? That suddenly we now see them within a few days they are inside that place. The old place. I'm happy that they admitted that they made some mistakes. You don't leave a place in the manner that you've left. Is going to be worse let, their, let them come to a convince you know, you them. Know, you know why they made that mistake? Mm. You know why they made that mistake? <laughs> when the decision was taken, a decision was taken during President Trump. President Trump took a decision that we cannot be in this Afghanistan forever. These people that must true. ride. So he now called America knew that look, the only <coughs> people that can that can that can handle power in in Afghanistan are the Taliban. So the, the President Trump called them for a meeting, mm -hmm. for a negotiation in Doha. <laughs> in that negotiation, the Afghan government was not represented. Then the decision was taken by Trump, which Biden didn't really have a choice because already the decision has been taken, there have been a drawdown. So it's either you change that policy and you continue to fund that place or you allow. So immediately they realized that the mistake why they made the mistake they made about the three months thing was that they thought that the Afghan soldiers would defend the country <coughs> and that it would take them some time to do so. But in, Af in Afghanistan, the soldiers and the commanders, they are not lawyer. They just switch their allegiance to the Taliban and the Taliban just moved through. That's why it took them ten days to get to Kabul. Because nobody was okay. fighting them. All right.